Hello and welcome to MSP Handbook. Today we are going to go over installation of Ubuntu Server 2004.3. It's the most recent uh, LTS version at the time of recording this. Um, so I will be installing Ubuntu or running the install in VMware Workstation, but you can use whatever hypervisor you would like, um, whether it be VirtualBox, Hyper-V, Proxmox, any anything like that. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I've already done is I've already set up my virtual machine and I've already booted to the first step of the installer. Um, this, for some reason, VMware um, skips a step in the install. Um, but it's just it's just the boot installer and it's just or the bootloader and it's just. Uh, um, all you have to do is say install Ubuntu server. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let me move some windows around. Um, so I'm gonna since I'm in the United States, I'm gonna select English. Oh, helps if you are clicked into the right window. Um, so I'm going to also select English US for both of these since I'm English US. <clears throat> now I'm going to set, uh, oops, I need to go back. I'm going to set a static IP because I am in a separate network on, or my lab is in a separate network. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this here. So I am in the 10. Dot nine nine dot one slash twenty four ten nine nine one fifteen ten nine nine one one. I'm just going to use open DNS two zero eight six seven two 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 two. I don't have a search domain to enter, so I'm just going to save, let the changes apply, and hit done. Um, I'm not going to use a proxy address. Um, I mean, the only way you need a proxy is if you need something to access, if you need to go through an appliance to access the internet. Um, so I'm going to hit done. I'm going to use the default mirror. Um, now, with my install, I'm just going to use the default LVM setup. And what LVM basically is, in a very, very broad overview, <clears throat> very, very high level, is it allows you to span partitions across multiple volumes or multiple disks. So um, it, 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 it's a much easier way to maintain and expand um, your storage when you get to that point that you need to, need to, need to expand your storage, <laughs> basically. Um, this all looks right to me, so I'm going to hit done. And it's going to ask me to confirm. Since this is a brand new VM, I'm going to go ahead and continue. If for some reason it is not a v new VM or a new machine, you probably need to say no here. Um, otherwise, you're going to destroy all your data. <clears throat> it's going to ask for your credentials or your you know, information about you. So I'm going to put... Figure out where I just typed that. Give me one second here. So I'm going to make this tut Ubuntu. My username is going to be. I'm going to choose a super secure password of password. Now I don't suggest doing that on an open network. Otherwise, you will likely have some issues. <laughs> so now that we can go down to done and hit next or hit enter, um, I'm going to go ahead and install Ubuntu or OpenSSH. I'm not going to import an identity, um, which basically, if you want to import an identity, um, you can pull in SSH keys, which we will go over in another video. Um, directly from GitHub or Launchpad, but 
we're not going to do that since we're going to do that in a separate video. I'm going to hit done. I'm not going to install any of this other stuff, so I'm going to hit done again. And now we've started the install. Um, so this is going to actually take a few minutes because I'm not running it on an SSD, so I will go ahead and fast forward through this. and. Um, I'm going to fast forward through this and we'll come back when it's done. So while this is updating, we're actually going to ins or it's going to go through the process of doing the actual OS install. It's going to install OpenSSH, which we told it to do during this setup, and then it's going to download and install some security updates. Um, then once, once the security updates are done, we will go ahead and reboot, boot it back into the new system, and you can see then that we'll be logged in. So now the installation is completed. We're going to go ahead and hit re reboot now. And if your hypervisor doesn't, um, you'll have to remove the CD or the, the ISO. Um, mine actually removes it automatically, which is why you're getting these failed unmounting. Um, so I'm just going to hit enter and we'll go ahead and end up rebooting into the new system. Now once you actually boot into the new system with Ubuntu specifically, and I don't know if other distributions do this because I use a lot of Ubuntu and not many others um, for servers, um, it's going to go through a cloud init process, which you'll see here, and it's going to throw a bunch of stuff on the screen. Basically once the screen stops moving for more than a couple, more than like a minute, that means it's done and you can go ahead and... and um, hit enter, it'll give you the login issue or login back again. Hit your username in and your password. And now you're logged in. So you've successfully at this point you've or at this point you've successfully um, installed Ubuntu server um, and it's it's ready to go. However, I would not expose it to the internet at this point because there are some additional layers of security you need to enable or set up before exposing it to the internet. Um, the, the biggest one, I mean, it, if you were to install like Caddy or something like that, you could go ahead and do that now um, and just expose port 80, but I would still, personally, I would go through and do the next steps, which will come later in this, this video series. Um, if you If you like this video, go ahead and hit uh, let YouTube know that you like it by hitting that like button. Um, if you like the content that we're putting out, or that I'm starting to put out since this is the f this first video back um, in several years, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and if you want to continue the discussion, I'm not great at reading YouTube comments, but I am good at reading comments on the forums or in uh, our we have a matrix server that we run called msp.chat. If you go to msp.chat, you can create an account and log in there. Um, then we have we have a space set up for for MSP handbook that you can um, connect to, and it'll load all the channels that we're in for you. But it's to find those details, you'd have to go to our forums. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and I will see you next time.